The COVID patient population is back on the rise across California, including in Riverside County. I spoke with doctors here at home about the trends and infections they're seeing now and their concerns moving forward. Summer temperatures are on the rise in the Coachella Valley, and so are COVID cases. But Dr. Ahmad Poor at JFK Memorial Hospital says there's a shift in his patients compared to the first two years of the pandemic. Their length of a stay, a hospital stay, is shorter than what it was earlier. It's a similar situation at Eisenhower Health. Our average length of stay is about three and a half days. The majority are not requiring ICU care. Riverside County Health shows 353 new cases since July 5th. Hospitalizations went up by 41 to 190, and patients in the ICU increased slightly. No new deaths were reported. But a spokesman for the county says there are challenges to obtaining a thorough count of cases. People are not required to report their at-home tests uh, to public health or, or uh, government agencies. Dr. Ahmad Poor says the timing of the uptick in cases is not surprising. We have seen a spike of number of COVID cases exactly right after a holiday. He points out the virus doesn't just attack the respiratory system, but other organs like the heart. So while most cases are not that severe anymore, someone with diabetes, for example, could face complications if they get COVID. Best case scenario, they're going to go on hemodialysis for a while and then recover. But for the future, they are still at the risk of having another problem with their kidney and lose that kidney function. He warns against creating an atmosphere for COVID-19 to mutate. It's what worries Dr. Williamson at Eisenhower Health. What I think is concerning to us is obviously with the next variation that comes along, who knows what, what that brings. And for more information on these latest COVID-19 figures and other related information, visit KESQ.com.